Hello, 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 my fabulous friends. How is everybody doing tonight? Oh my goodness. Look at what I got. I have a new diamond painting kit from Craftability. Yes. Uh, honestly, this is only the third Craftability that I've got. And I have been waiting on this one for a while. It is one of their new 4.0 kits. Okay, so let me get the box open here. Okay, and I'm going to make sure there's, see if there's something. Oh, there was something in the box. Always, always, always check your box, people. Because you never know what's in the box. Let's see. It says, hello. Thank you for your order. We hope this purchase brings you joy. We are so thankful for your support of our family business. Please share your experience with us. We hope to get the opportunity to serve you again soon. Craftability, yours, Amy, a.k.a. Crafty Wife. Thank you for your order. They've also got their scan code there. Uh, let's see what was on the other side. My name, address, and y'all don't need to know that part. Plus, it also, if you do show up at my address, guess what? You're going to be shaking hands with the, with the mailman because um, you're going to be going to the post office box. Anyway, I am going to take and set that to the side. And I'm going to undo the... Fabulous crinkly stuff here. The uh, I think they call these dust bags. Now I have to admit, I love Craftability's storage containers. I really do. Um, however, I am. How do I put this? I, I really, really do love Craftability storage containers. Okay? And I love Craftability. I love their diamond paintings. They have really good quality. However, if I'm being totally 100% honest with you guys, which you know I do, you can get these tubes at Hobby Lobby for $5.99 when they're on sale. They're in the art department. And or either you can buy them at HobbyLobby.com. And they're $5.99. So, are they purple? No. Are they black? Yes. Uh, however, they are like this. They expand and all of that. So, I do have to make that, that comment with unboxing a craftability. Because I love their tubes. Don't get me wrong. And they're the cool purple. Okay. However, do I buy craftability for this tube? No. Okay, because I can literally go to Hobby Lobby and get them all day long. So, anyway, I do like the fact that this is called Frog Loving Felicia. I waited forever for her. Now, with this tube, you can stretch it out and or either you can unscrew the end of it. Personally, I'm going to leave it just the way it is. Sid, good gravy. Oh, people. I, hello, have a mouse. Yes, this is Sid. Sid, say hello to the people. Hello. Okay. I am doing an unboxing. You cannot help. Nope, nope, you cannot help. All right. Oh, there's our craft bag. So I'm going to set that there for a moment. Hey, mister, you are causing trouble tonight. Come on now. I am in the middle of an unboxing. You are not helping. No, you cannot help the mama. No. You stay right where you're at. I tell you people, I got five ferrets. They think, that they have from the knee down. I have from the knee up. However, they think that they own the whole joint. So, but we have to share. So sometimes I have to get that point across to them. Anyway. There is nothing in the bottom of that tube. See? Da -da -da -da. It'd be empty. And we have our cool Felicia here. Do not cut this. Okay? You don't have to to get it off. It snaps apart right there. 
Okay, so all you got to do is just unsnap it to get your little thing off. You don't have to cut it. Uh, there was a there was a lot of people that was cutting them, and there there's no need to. So I'm going to take, and I'm going to set this to the side so we can get to the lovely. And it came with squishy papers at the end. And so nothing got damaged, and nothing got... I had to throw that in the garbage, sorry. Sounded like I walked across the room. I did. I had to throw it in the garbage because I didn't want the babies to get a hold of it. <clears throat> so let's see if I can... Yay! I love the the dust cover bags that you can open and reseal. I hate when they tear. But I'm going to go ahead and take this out. Because right this minute I'm standing up. And you guys are swinging from the rafters. So I want to pull you down as soon as I can get this... Now, this is the one thing I don't like. I, I am not a fan of the tape. But this is me. This is just me. But I am I am not a fan of tape. Because it's a pain in... I don't know. It's a pain in the hanging. And I don't want to damage my canvas. So, I'm just... That just gives it an opportunity to damage your canvas, and I just don't want to. And I'm I'm not a big fan of tape because this tape won't come off. Come off. I know the the fight is real, people. The fight is real. Okay, there we go. Also, it pulls the fuzzy off the back, which again I'm not a fan of tape. But that be me. That be me. Alright, had to throw that in the garbage as well. Sorry, sorry, my bad. I just don't need the, the babies to get a hold of it. Okay, now in our fabulous kit, okay, we have this gorgeous bag. So, um, in the bag, I love these bags. Now, I gotta admit, I do like the bag. I just gotta figure out what to do with the bag. But in the bag, Craftability has one of the best tool kits on the market. Okay, that I'm not going to lie about. They really do. You Besides besides mine, okay, I, ha I have to be impartial here, okay? I'm trying to be impartial. However, my kit's still good too. But you get two washi tapes, which I really love. You get a cover minder, which comes in its little plastic box. You get two things of branded... Uh, wax, which I like as well. You also get your tool kit. Now, this is a square drill kit. If it, we, Back in the day... Good gravy, they didn't want me to get into this one. Back in the day, you used to get the uh, tweezers with the round kits as well. However, the tweezers was those little snub-nosed. If anybody has... An extra pair of those that they don't want. Please hit me up. I will buy them from you. Or uh, because uh, I would really like a pair. Uh, and I, I just they don't come in the kits anymore. But if if you guys have collected tweezers, you know that have got the round nose on them, like I have collected tweezers with the pointy ends on them. Uh, hit me up, please. Anyway, in this kit, you get your, due to the fact that it is a square drill, you get the extremely pointy tweezers. Please, if you have kids or children, please, or, or animals, please make sure you keep the tops on them because I accidentally knocked them off the table. Thank goodness one of my ferrets was not under my feet because it literally landed standing straight up. It stuck into my hardwood floors. You get your single placer. Drill pin, you also get a four placer, you get an extra four placer, and I want to say that that's like a six placer, and they're the good thin ones too. And you get your squishy, which goes on your pin like that, and then you get your wax and your boat. So, again, it's your, your typical kit, however... I'm going to put it to you like this. This white bag right here, this bag is your typical kit that you get with your kits. Okay? This is the extra 
that craftability adds to their kids. So I have to I have to give them a thumbs up for that, okay? Because that is pretty cool, and they do have one of the best best um, kits on the market when you buy a diamond painting kit. So uh, you know, again, when you buy a diamond painting kit, regardless of what company you buy it from, I ooh, I have said this in many 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 videos, and I'll say this again: everything that you need. To complete that diamond painting from start to finish should be in that kit. You will get a pen, you will get a boat, you'll get wax. Anything after that is extra. Okay. However, you don't have to buy anything extra because it's all supposed to come in the kit. So I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna set that to the side. Now I'm gonna roll this backwards. Now this is the that good velveteen canvas that I love are uh, I think it's velveteen I'm sorry I don't have the I don't have the the box in front of me tarpaulin thank you okay I'm clued in now tarpaulin not velveteen but it does feel like velvet so all right here is your drills we'll get into that in a minute love the fact that they have the picture on the front because some people will take and they will separate the canvas from the drill pack and they will store their drill pack in one area they'll take their canvas sometimes they put them on what is called pant holders or pants holders and they'll hang them up in their closets and that way it allows the canvas to relax and stretch out me personally due to my adhd and ooh shiny squirrel moments uh I do not do that and I keep everything together that way I do not lose anything because literally I am one of these people that can be sitting at my desk and lose my butt when if it wasn't attached okay so and not even wiggle hard but anyway so I keep everything together but I am so happy and so glad to see that they do this I know a lot of people really really enjoy this especially if they store their drills in another area um, this is your how-to instruction sheet that comes with it. Very, very large pictures, very well printed, uh, very good directions. Uh, also on the back, it tells you everything that comes in a kit. You get the telescoping art tube, soft back canvas, which feels like velvet to me, poured glue canvas, if you get a canvas and it has a white or an opaque paper on the top, that is not poured glue. That is called double-sided sticky tape, okay? And when you peel that paper back, please, please, please be very careful, go very slow, and be very gentle. Because if you rip that paper when you're trying to get it off due to the fact that it's double-sided tape, that little smidges of paper are going to get stuck in it and you're not going to be able to get it off so anyway this is poured glue and you can tell with because it has that clear cellophane on the top of it also if you get a canvas that has that white paper on it do not roll it backwards you will damage the kit okay Anyway, all right, you get the Max Luster Diamond Drills, AB and Rhinestones, Random Cover Minder, Basic Glitter Pen, Burlap Accessory Sack, Thin Multiplacer Tips, Extra Thick Chart Cover, um, yeah, Extra Thick Chart Cover, a tree planted for each order. Now that I really, really like, okay? I'm thinking I'm, I'm thinking about doing that myself. I got to figure out how I can connect that to my store, but I am thinking about doing that. Pre-bagged drills, love that. Up to 80 colors, true to size image, licensed artwork, really like that. Random washi tape, sharp tweezers, jar of wax, which we got two. Mosfa sprout tray, which was the little white boat or the little white tray. Peelable color labels, logbook sticker sheet, foam pen grip. Now, the only thing that I have not seen is, well, I guess that's it, is my logbook sticker sheet. And check it out. They give you 
Wow, man. Craftability stepped up. Check it out. We get extra stickers now. You get I Sweat Glitter. You get Diamonds, Just Cause stickers, Logbook stickers, I Heart DP, and Diamond. Wow. That was not in my last kit that I got. And I, I did get a 4.0 kit. So this must be a 4.10. So anyway, we'll look at, we'll look at the, the stickers more in a minute. Uh, cause my, my four-legged fuzzy son has decided to, to hijack my chair. Alright, here we go. Oop, and she's upside down. Now again, I got you guys swinging from the rafters right this minute because I wanted you to be able to see everything. So, oh my gosh, I love her. I love neon green. Well, one, I love neon anything. However, neon green is my favorite. And frogs make me laugh they just make me smile i don't know why the frogs and ferrets go figure i do not own frogs though uh i like canvas frogs not real frogs oh but they do they they make me smile they lift my spirits and they they, they i don't know they make me feel happy you know so i mean everybody's got their thing and frogs are mine and she's got dragonflies in here. She's got a frog in her glasses. Let's see. She's got... The only thing is I wish I had a bigger picture. But let's see. You got a frog here. You got a frog here. And you got a frog here. So, um, let's... Now, on the left side is your key code over here we'll get into that in a minute as well i'll show you all of that you've also got it on the right side the bottom right so regardless of which side that you're working on this left right up and down you have got your key codes okay at the top it's got craftability diamond painting at the bottom it says frog loving felicia by sheena pike art and illustrations copyright sheena pike art and illustrations artlicensing.com and it's got a picture of what it's going to look like so yay craftability okay because this is a piece of licensed artwork so we really like that so what i'm going to do now is i am going to steal my chair back from my four-legged fuzzy butted son oh see it you are making a mess dude hey get off of that good gravy you have made a mess what am i gonna do with you huh all right steal my chair back yes oh my goodness you are just wanting to make your tv appearance tonight aren't you all right, guys, I'm going to pull you down. Here we go. I'm going to try to do this as gently, slowly as possible. That way we can get a good look at Felicia here. And you can see the drills. All right. And I got my chair back. And hopefully he will go and lay down and go back to bed. Sit. Go back to bed. Good gravy. Sorry, everyone. I thought I was going to be able to make it through this. This unboxing without help, but somebody's being hard-headed tonight. So I'm going to take me a mm, sip of my cherry vanilla Dr. Pepper. Take me a breather for a couple of seconds here, and we're going to get into this. Now, these here, you can pee. I love these, and they're so big. Wow, look at how big they are. Uh, again, this was not in. I bought a 4.0 kit uh, about six months ago. And uh, these are their newer versions. Let me put it that way. Felicia just come in. Now, today is um, November the 10th. And I want to say I got it yesterday. So I ordered it about a week ago. I don't have my book in front of me, which I really do need my book. Oh my gosh, how can I give y'all stats? I am royally slipping tonight. Oh my lord. Um, I just need, I need to get my ducks together. Good gravy. I just, oh, I am just all out of whack tonight. 
All right, let's start with the book. How can we do anything without the book? Okay, Miss Frog Lovin' Felicia 4.0 is an 18 by 24. It is not listed on the, um, it is not listed on the canvas nowhere. However, let me pull up the site here real quick. And I can get you stats on Felicia from the website. And that way we got all of it. Sid, stop it, honey. Now you're going to have to... You cannot help me. Oh, goodness gracious. Come here. All right. You can sit sit in the back of my chair. There you go. Uh, craftability. Where would you go? There you are. And... We want Felicia. Okay, let's see. Where is Felicia? Sid, stop it. I'm going to put you up for adoption, boy. All these people are going to want to take you home if you don't be careful. And I'm going I'm to put you in a box and ship your little honey out. Behave yourself. He's wanting to play tonight. Stop biting the mama. Okay, where did Felicia go? Felicia was here because she's she's brand new. She just got in stock. Um, I like their coffee mugs too. I want to get one of Craftability's coffee mugs. They're really nice. Is she sold out already? I don't see her. Hmm. Okay, she has got to be on this website somewhere. I just bought it. Diamond paintings. And I don't see it. I don't see a search thing either. Search filters. I see filters. Give me. Oh, there it is. Alright. Goodness. Felicia. Alright, let's see what that gets us. Yeah, Michael at Craftability just updated their, their website, so I'm sorry. I am, I am still... Okay, that painting is on this doggone site, and it should not be this hard to find. I just got it. Alright, oh... Uh... I'm finding everything but Felicia. I'm sorry guys, give me give me a second here cuz I'm trying to get the stats for you. Um They got a sale going on too. A lot of, a lot of nice Christmas stuff. Good gravy. I cannot believe this. Oh, there she is. Finally. Okay. Felicia was $44.99. Right this minute, they say there's three left in stock. You can choose from round with ABs or square with ABs. The size is an 18 by 24. Okay. It does not give me centimeters. It just tells me 18 by 24. Um, yeah, it squares. I have no clue how many drills. It didn't tell me how many drills. Uh, it is a Sheena Pike. I paid $9.99 in shipping. Uh, I ordered it on 11-2 on November the 2nd, uh, 2021. And it arrived, uh, November the 9th. So, that was pretty fast shipping. Wasn't too bad. But, yeah, um, the only thing is I wish that I w could know how many, how many drills was in the kit, um, and, but we can do, let's see if I can find my, my ruler here, what did, uh, there it is, alright, let's see, because I got centimeters here, so let's see what our centimeters are. Felicia, what are you? 
You are a uh okay in centimeters it is a 48 48 centimeters wide let's see what it is long now this is strictly just the drill field okay it's 48 long and it's 63 and a half uh, 63, yeah, 63 and a half centimeters long. So it's, it is a 40 by 60, give or take there about. Uh, and again, the website says an 18 by 24. Okay, 18, I guess, well, honestly, the drill field says it's a 19. And this is inches. Uh, website says it's an 18 by 24. This drill field right here. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Good, Greg, y'all are not in. One, you're not in focus. And two, you're not even in the. I'm sitting here just talking like crazy. And y'all were not even in the, in the frame. I'm sorry. Whew. I might end up having to delete this video and start another one. Anyway, it's 19 inches wide, and it is 25 inches long. So, it's bigger than, than what's on the website by an inch on both sides. So, that's pretty good. I'd rather have more than not enough. Now, um, as far as the drill field, I mean, look, uh, it's, it's like crystal clear. If you see any fuzzy whatsoever, it is not the canvas. It is, it is my camera. Because, again, I don't have my new camera yet. I'm still working with the manual one. But, I mean, look at that. That is just, that is just crystal clear. So, huh. Uh, it's, a, it's a little odd with the sizes. Um, I'm not used to that, but that's cool. That's cool. Okay. Um, yeah, it says it's an 18 by 24. Now, um, I put these in my logbook. Okay. What is going on? Guys, I'm just having issues tonight. Good gravy. There we go. Okay. I put these in my logbook. Some people put them on the outside of the tube or they put them on the outside of the box. That way in storage, they know where they go. Also, too, these peel so they can go on your containers or whatever it is you use. Uh, due to the fact that these come in the little pre-ziplock bags, you can literally just put the sticker on the bag. You know, I, I haven't looked at the bag yet, but we'll look at that in a minute. Um, I do not see any... Other than those half square triangles, them suckers get me every time. I have to pay close, close attention to those. This has 53 colors in it. And here's your ABs down at the bottom. It's 51, 52, and 53. Um, again, I don't see any issues with any of the symbols. Everything looks really clear. Um, yeah. So, this one, this one is new. I have never used that one before. That one's new. Um, but I don't see anything else that would confuse me with that. Um, there is a sideways H, but I don't see the letter H. So, I, this should be okay. I do like the fact that they got the cool stickers that come with it, though. That is that is new. So I have to admit, craftability, they have they have stepped up their game. Oh, also too, these are extra stickers. Don't throw these away. Okay, keep them, put them away, put them, put them, stash them somewhere because these are already pre-cut stickers, and you can use them. You know, take a sharpie or something and write on them and use them. Good gravy! Don't throw those away. Make sure you keep those, and that's that's really a whole page and a half right there. So anyway, all right, I'm gonna let's check our 
are sticky here. Oh wow, that is that is really really sticky. Now let's look at our drills. Okay, for those of you that have earbuds or headphones, I'm fixing to open crinkly paper. So please mute me until you see me finish. Okay, I really, really, ooh, wow. Okay, that something didn't smell good, but maybe that was just the glue. I really do like the fact that they put the sticker on the bag. That makes a huge, huge difference. Okay, now do these are in order, okay? Uh, I'm going to try really hard to look at the drills, but at the same time kind of leave them where they're at. Because, see, here's, here's your bag. Now... If you look at your numbers over here, this is going to have number 19 on it. So what you do is you go over here to number 19, okay, and that's what this is. Uh, on the canvas, the symbol is going to be a 2, okay, according to, the, according to your key code here. The symbol is going to be a 2. Now, with me, what I would do, if I didn't use my, you know, if I didn't kit this up and I used it, as is, I would literally take these stickers right here and I would put them on these bags. I really would because, you know, you have, have uh, it would make it a whole lot easier to know, you know, what this is. Now, as far as the drills themselves, they look really, really good. I don't see any nubbly bits on them. It draws me crazy to get square drills and they have little what I call nibbly bits on the sides of them where they don't they can't butt up together. And then you have to take your tweezers or clippers or something and clip the little nibbly bit off. Well, if you're like me, they end up tiddlywinking across the room. And so it's kind of like, you know, why bother trying to snip the little thing off if you're going to end up losing it because it flew across the room. But these look really clean. I don't see any static in these. Um, let's check the, the yellow here. Normally your bright colors will show. But, I mean, look at that. That looks really, really good. And this is number 16 which is a J on the canvas. So that's going to be like right here in her, in her coat. Uh, it's around the flowers. So I'll pull you back up and show you more in just a second. The reason why I got you so close to the canvas is so you can see the drills. But I'm going to put that one back. Here's, okay, here's the AB. Oh, my favorite color. Neon green, number 52. Look at that. Okay, what what is an AB? An AB is an iridescent coating that has been put on the top of these drills. And what it does is it gives it that aurora borealis and or either a rainbow effect. Okay, so when you put this drill down, if you set it next to a drill that does not have this on it, it makes them both kind of glitter and shine. So the ABs give it a little more glitz, I guess you could say, to a canvas. However, be warned, okay? ABs are not all, all that they are cracked up to be. If you use a regular diamond painting pen with wax... Uh, when you go to put your AB down on a canvas, it will pull the wax out of the end of your pen. Aggravates me to death. So, uh, I don't, matter of fact, I don't use wax in my pens. I use the mini micro glue dots. And I roll them up, uh, kind of like, remember when we were kids, we'd roll up Play-Doh like a snake? Well, I'll take those round glue dots and I'll roll it up, you know, like a, a, a thin snake. And then I'll fold it in half and put it in the tip of my pen. And, I, and due to the fact that it's extremely sticky, I'll rub it on my shirt a little bit to get it so it's not quite as sticky. 
and it works really good with these ABs on releasing. But with that wax, uh, he hear me now, okay? It when you use the wax and you go to put down a, a, a AB drill, you have to tilt your pen to pick it up. If you just try to pick pull your pen up like that, it's not going to work, and you're going to pull the glue out of the tip of your pen every time, or the wax out of the tip of your pen every time. But everybody's gaga over the ABs, and they are pretty, okay? They really are. To me, uh, it doesn't matter one way or the other. Honestly, I have no preference towards ABs or not, but then again, I, I always go, um, you know, with, with good uh, high-end kits, because I'm a firm believer you get what you pay for. So, uh, these are the cream colors. Wow, now I got to admit, I love, love, love that color. And see, that's ABs as well. See the sparkle in there? It it looks like rainbow. It has that rainbow color to it. And then you have uh, white. I believe, yeah, the white is an AB. Let's see if the white will show you a little better. See how, how it's got that glitter to it? Um, if you can see it in the camera. But, yeah. So, anyway, uh, ABs has got his positives and his negatives. You know, everybody goes gaga over it, and they like the ABs because it does add accent to the kit, okay, to your diamond painting when you're done. But, at the same time, for me, I really haven't, I don't know, I really haven't noticed a big, huge deal. I have to admit, there is some kind of, there is some kind of odor. Um, I think it's the bag. Uh, it has some kind of odor to it. Um, maybe it's the glue on the bag. I didn't smell it when I was handling the drills. I think it's the bag itself. But there is a, a odor there. Um, anyway, moving on. Uh, and these are, again, these are your, your, you know, uh, labels, your sticker labels. Uh, these are rather large. Now, if you have one of the small bottles or one of the small little things, you really don't need this part, okay? The only part that you really need is that number and that symbol because the symbol is going to be what's on your canvas, uh, matter of fact, none of the numbers are, are going to be on your canvas. So really, you would just need like 53 and that, that symbol right there. There's a lot of times that I have taken just plain white uh, little sticker labels and wrote the symbol on whatever I was using. Uh, so again, you know, but those, this is a really, really nice kit. I, I like it. And again, I paid $44 for it. Now I'm going to raise you up. So hang on. That way y'all can get a little better look at it again. Let me fix my fuzzy here. There we go. But, oh my gosh, she is so, so pretty. I just, I love it to death. I love the frog. I love the frog. Oh, he just makes me smile. And when you look at the lipstick, she got a frog right there on her glasses. And this is her hair. It's in a ponytail. She got two little frogs here. One sitting on top of each other. And then she has a frog in her basket. I just love this little kit. I love the colors. I love the frogs. And, you know, honestly, uh, this is the only one of these that I have. Um, there's, I have a lot of Sheena Pikes, but this is the only one that's in this style. Let me put it that way. Um, with the big face girls, I, I, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But I couldn't get away from the colors. It's the neon green, and it's the frogs, and it just makes me smile. It just makes me happy. So, I think that my next kit that I do, right this minute I'm working on Christmas morning. So, I think that the next kit that I'm going to do is going to be this one here, because, um, I don't know, it's just so bright and cheerful. So, yeah. But, anyway, guys. I, let's see, I think I have told you everything. It was $44. It was $9.99 shipping. Come with a, come with a great kit. Um, you got your, 
purple tube here with the with your sticker on it. So I mean, you really got everything. So uh, I I've showed you the the key codes and let's see. I'm trying to make sure I dotted all my and crossed all my T's here because I always forget something. So anyway, guys, this is Frog Loving Felicia by Craftability. Uh, I love it. I give it thumbs up. So anyway, I am going to throw my shout outs now. I would like to say thank you to Jim Weeder, his lovely wife Kate, Michelle Oriold, and Joy Martin for being Buy Me a Coffee channel supporters. I would also like to say thank you to Kendra Francisco and Debbie Day for buying me five cups of coffee. Oh my gosh, you guys are so, so, so appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Your support just means so much to me. If you would like to be a channel supporter like Jim, or if you would like to just buy me a cup of coffee like Kendra, click on the buy me a cup of coffee link and, and you decide. Um, if you don't want to do anything, I am just happy that you're here. Please do not feel like you have to do anything. Uh, if you want to do something for me, Give me If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. So anyway, uh, if you do like this video and you would like to see more crazy videos with me and Sid here trying to help do an unboxing, click the subscribe button along with the bell icon. That way you get notifications of when I post more videos, which I am constantly posting more videos. Also, too, uh, I am now doing live whipping chats on Saturday evenings. Uh, so, stop by. You know, if you see this and it's Saturday night, uh, late Saturday night, uh, I am Eastern Time. So, normally, uh, I'm on around 10, 30, 11 p.m. Eastern Time. Stop by. Swing through. Say hi. Uh, I'd love to see you. Anyway, this is Nick's Dark Sky saying be happy, be crafty, and above all else, please, please be kind. It takes one second of kindness to make somebody's entire day. And guys, the world has been so, so crazy this, this past year, year and a half. I promise you a small, small bit of kindness goes a long, long ways. Okay? Anyway, guys... Have a fabulous day or night whenever you are watching this, and I will catch you on the flip side. Bye for now.